All right, guys, wanted to give you an update and a bit of a review. Got some uh, SSDs here. Just wanted to give you my opinion on them. And just to show you, I got some stuff to compare them to. This is what I got to compare SSDs to. We have 80 gig Raptor. Uh, it's a bit of an older Raptor. 2005, yeah, she's <laughs> a bit older, but it's a Raptor, so it's pretty quick. And we have a 500 gig black from 2011. And this one, which is almost brand new, we have a two terabyte black 64 meg cache from again, 2011, which is just when it was manufactured. I think I bought it in 012. Or no, I bought that in 11, so it's a couple years old now. But that's what I got for comparison. So these are the drives. This is the one I use in the laptop. And that's the specs on the old Intel. These are roughly like three years old now. They're uh, some of the originals. Because uh, I bought these soon after SSDs came out. That's why they're only 40 gigs. Because they were like, you know, edge technology kind of stuff. So I got two of the Intel 40 gigs, which were actually able to crash my Asus Crosshair in RAID. Um, come to that in a minute. So that, that uses, that just runs the laptop windows because they're a little older and slow. And then I got these three, which are pretty much all the same. They all do about 500 read and 450, 500 write. This one says like 550, 500, and this one's like 535 and 500 or something like that. But like I said, they're all roughly the same. They all use the same Sandforce controller. It's like 2281 or something. I don't remember exactly, but something like that. And uh, they all seem pretty much the same. I mean, if you took the tags off, other than the slight differences in benchmarks, you'd never notice a difference. And uh, I've only ever really had one problem with them, and that was uh, with the RAID. And uh, I've had a couple times where if I shut the power switch off on the power supply while Windows is shutting down, there's a chance it will blank your partition. <laughs> so I've had that happen on three occasions and now I make sure to never shut off the computer when it's in the midst of shutting down. Um, with hard drives you don't have to worry, but with these you do. Um, I've had it happen twice, or three times, sorry, and I think my buddy Dan had it happen once to him. And uh, it was the same thing, Windows was in the midst of shutting down, and you kill the power switch and it totally screwed it over. Partition was gone, nothing. And uh, when it came to RAID, that was more the board's problem, but I uh, tried RAIDing both of these on my crosshair, and the board kept crashing. And uh, I couldn't get an answer from anybody, so I ended up turning up the Southbridge voltage from like 1.2 to 1.35, and fixed it. Ran like a dream after that. So uh, that was kind of weird. But... Uh, I do have two of these that I plan on raiding soon. I'm going to show you what we got here just so you know. We got a Vertex 3 120 gig, so that's fairly new. And these two are a little bit older. We got a SATA 3 Force 90 gig. And a Pyro 60. But like I said, they're all pretty much the same speed. They all use the they all use the same uh, I can't remember if it's, if it's the exact same controller probably not but I'm pretty sure they were all 2281's or whatever they are I have pictures of it somewhere if it's important but as far as I can remember they were almost the exact same chipset um, but the RAM is different the actual memory chips themselves are, are different uh, but the Sandforce controller is the same one um, so that's about it. I also noticed 
I'm pretty sure all three of these drives actually have hard drive LEDs in them, but for some reason you're not allowed to see them. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, it's this one. The OCZ, uh, not the OCZ, the Corsair. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap between the chip and the thing. You can see the light from in there and the top there. You can actually see the light flashing in there. These ones you can't really because they, they sealed these ones up pretty good. Oh, maybe it was this one because it's got a big hole right there. But I mean, why don't they drill a little hole in the, in, like, the side or something so you could, like, see it in your case flashing away? I'm pretty sure these ones don't. I'm uh, pretty sure I've run these ones open and they don't have a LED of any sort in there. I should check them again because I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure all three of these ones do have LEDs in them. For some reason. Uh, one of them has two LEDs up at the front. I'm pretty sure it's this one that actually has them near that back spot right there. But uh, kind of interesting that they have LEDs in them, but you can't see them. It's like, what the hell's the point? <laughs> Unless it's for diagnostic or something. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's about it. So, I, uh, like I said, as far as I can tell, they're all pretty much the same. They do benchmark differently, but I mean... If you installed the exact same copy of Windows to all three of them and booted them up to Windows, you probably wouldn't notice a difference. This one you would because it's a little bit older. So uh, that's that's my basic review, guys. Just don't turn them off while they're going to Windows. And if you're running RAID, you might need to uh, adjust chipset voltages or something because they do put quite a bit of load on the Southbridge chipset or whatever is controlling your SATAs at the time. So that's what I got and like I said that's what I got to compare them to and you know I definitely like them. They definitely make Windows boot up a lot faster and uh, loading games and everything a lot faster stuff like that. And I haven't, I can't say I've had a problem with data corruption on them. Um, they definitely do slow down over time with Windows on them, especially XP. Um, so if you're going to use them as window drives, Windows drives, 7 is better than XP. If you're going to use XP, you're going to want to format like every six months or so, maybe less, because it will slow down over time. Um, uh, the, the, the trim thing, yeah, the trim thing. And uh, yeah, you will notice. Like I said, not so much with 7, but with XP, you definitely do notice the trim thing. But uh, other than that, can't say I've had a problem with them. They're all pretty damn fast. Even even the old guy that's 200, 200 read and 50 write, e even that thing, you know, is a hell of a lot faster than this thing loading up windows and stuff. And that's a 500 gig black, so it's not a slouch in itself. Uh, what do we got here? The 2 terabyte does 150 read. I, I've tested these all before. 150 read, 120 write. This guy does about 100 both ways. And the old Raptor, uh, if I remember correctly, does about 70 both ways. Mm, I thought I had it written on there, but pretty sure it does like 75 megs both ways read and write but it's got a pretty quick uh, access time so anyway guys uh, just so I'd let you know that that's what I got and uh, I'll definitely let you know when I decide to raid the two of these and uh, let you know how it goes but uh, for the most part they're all pretty much the same so you know unless it matters what company you get to you I just went for the cheapest guy, pretty much. Cheapest guy with the best specs. Like I said, they're all rated pretty much the same. 500 right, roughly. You know, 550, 525. I think this one was 500. And the rights are like 450, 500, and 500 or something like that. So, they're all pretty much the same. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed.